Hello guys. In this episode we have a episode. I don't know if it's episode okay, but in this video I'm uh, reviewing a uh, amplifier. So we have uh, something different again. And uh, they did ask me from the Tosicam if I want to review this mini amplifier. And it's a mini, it's a really small one, but it had, uh, has uh, tons of power. So grab yourself a cup of coffee. No, I'm, a, I'm not a cheap audio man. But uh, yeah, just relax, sit down and uh, let's see what we have in the package. Yeah, let's open this package. So it, it was actually in the bigger box and this was inside there. It was really nicely packed. And uh, there's a power supply. It's actually 24 volts, 6 amps. So it's rough, roughly like uh, 100 and, can I count, 150 watts, if I count correctly. Uh, it has this plug for the US, I think. So I actually bought uh, another plug for it, because I can't put this in the wall. And here is the small boy. The amplifier itself, <laughs> it's so tiny, tiny small one. And it has some introduce, uh, introductions, uh, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, uh, let's check what kind of ports we have in here because you're usually interested about those. So here is the small boy from the behind. Oh. But yeah, there, there's a one input here only, it's the RCA and you can hook your TV here or a CD player or whatever. And then you have outputs for the speakers and it's banana plugs and you can screw the cable straight in it. You need to have a banana plug. Then there's a connector for the Bluetooth antenna. So you can uh, uh, connect it for your mobile phone or computer. And then there is a connector for the power supply. Really basic stuff. Basics, basics. And then there is the front side of this. There is actually really nice feeling knobs here. It's the volume control. Then there is a bass and treble. And it's really nice to have these that you can adjust them because it's not so common for these small amplifiers. Then there's power switch and a more LED indicator. I think it's when you have the Bluetooth connection or the RCA connected, then you have a LED here. Really small, nice amplifier. It seems like well built and uh, yeah, good quality, I feel it. Yeah, I'm sure you want to hear the other specs of this amplifier too. So, it says it can produce frequency 20 Hz to 20 kHz. That's pretty nice because that's what we are usually hearing about. Uh, the terminating impedance is 2 ohms. Oh wow, 2 ohms. And uh, all the way to 8 ohms. So usually the speakers are roughly like 8 ohms and some speakers can be 4 ohms and it's pretty cool if it can go to 2 ohms. And the max power output is 50 watts per channel and there's also plus 100. Uh, I don't know what is that. That is pretty strange but I would guess it's maybe the same uh, same paper for the different amps so this is just like two times 50 watts and uh, that's most most of the information what you actually need with this one so let's hook it up maybe if somebody is uh, buying this kind of amplifier they are usually using it in a uh, two-way stereo system so it could be for for a TV or computer or just listening music and it's like competing uh, 
when you're uh, choosing your first speakers, maybe you want to buy sometimes active speakers and they have an amplifier built in inside the speaker and it's really easy to use. But uh, uh, this is a little bit easier because then you can change the speakers and you have some uh, room to play. And if the internal uh, amplifier is broken inside in the active speakers, then it's uh, difficult to change usually. So this is really good option for for the maybe the first audio system that you're buying and you want something really small. Or is it? We have to listen it first. So I have actually here, a, uh, it's not a desktop speaker, it's not a, no, maybe it's a small tower speaker, <laughs> but it has a full range speaker in there and there's no crossover. So it's uh, like getting all the, all the sounds pure out. And I, I know how it sounds with my self-made amplifier. It's usually the amplifier, but is inside the active speakers. So I can actually compare this for the active, like a, for the good active speaker amplifier. Is there some, some kind of difference? Then I have a couple of uh, other uh, speakers too. We can make more tests. So I was now testing it with those full range speakers and comparing it to the like the internal uh, amplifier what we usually use in the active speakers and uh, I couldn't hear much of a difference. Uh, only thing is that there was a little bit noise and I put the, 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 the amplifier on. There's a little bit noise when there's not the music on. But of course, when I put the music on, then the noise disappears. But there is some, but not anything big. The amplifier is actually on right now. And I can hear a little bit some strange sound. But yes, that was pretty much the same. Uh, not much of a difference. Uh, I think it was decent. Uh, overall, it was a good center image and uh, the bass and everything worked out really nicely. And having these adjustments here, it was easy to put it a little bit same as I have the other amplifier. So I had the treble uh, pretty much into half, halfway, and the bass is a little bit more than the halfway. And then I actually, I always wanted to hear these. I have these Yamo speakers, it's the S801. And uh, it's an 8 ohm speaker, it's a 4 inch woofer there, and uh, I think they say it's like 76 uh, hertz uh, starting and <laughs> going all the way to the 26,000 or something. But anyway, this is a cheap uh, desktop speaker, but maybe people with this amplifier are using a little bit this kind of setup. So it's a 200 euro speaker and this amplifier and it's pretty nice combo. What I could hear the difference now, uh, actually I use these speakers in the, it's the Saron speakers from my home theater system. So it's in the back and I, I have never really been listening to these, how they sound. And uh, it sounds like 200 euro speaker. It, it's it's not so good. It doesn't go so low. I think the high end is pretty okay, but then there's something I don't really like. It's not like exciting speaker. It's a little bit like blame. And I can say the the different speaker what I have here. Actually, I can show you. This is the my self-made speaker. It's like ten times heavier. It's solid wood and it's really rigid made and it's the uh, Mark Audio CHR70 full range woofer. It's a four inch also, but this produces so crazy amount of bass. I have a port in here, but uh, so does this, the Yamo speaker. 
it has the port in the back here and uh, the speaker is a little bit going apart already the lamination is getting off and it I don't know the quality it's it's not so good so so far I can say you thumbs up and the next thing what we could test we could go upstairs I have my music room there and the big speakers let's see what happens small amplifier and the big speakers as some final thoughts I was now listening it with the big tower speakers my Amiga speakers what I built maybe one year ago I also tried this smaller one what is like open buffalo speaker and uh, yeah I was really surprised this small guy it was pretty much the really good uh, I could say decent sound quality and a really good sound quality for the price because this is about 40 euros and uh, yeah <laughs> I was pretty amazed and when I had the adjustment for the bass I could get so much bass out of these speakers I usually use a subwoofer and uh, I don't like to crank up the bass knob too much because it it does all, you know other things also than just putting up the bass but uh, or not it's not like increasing the the low frequency it makes a little, little bit like hump there but anyway really good sound quality uh, for the price uh, I could uh, the center image was nice it wasn't the widest and clearest clearest sound stage but it was pretty good I think like average listener doesn't even uh, listen any difference and uh, I could get these speakers loud and clear no problems and the Bluetooth and then that it works great uh, I was walking in the other rooms in the house and it was uh, the, uh, the phone in my pocket and it was uh, still playing it and no connection problems so yeah uh, I have only one thing what I have to say that it has a little bit noise some people can maybe hear it some people don't but I can hear some small noise in, in, in the speakers uh, especially when the music is like low then there is more like noise coming on then then I can't hear it anymore but uh, really good thing to buy with the money you can play big speakers small speakers and you can cramp, crank up the bass with the knob and uh, yeah I think it's some kind of Texas instrument chip inside here for the amplifier so uh, I, I did like the music how it sounded like through this amplifier uh, I usually use like 250 euro amplifier with these speakers and it's still a really cheap one but that's really amazing one and this is 40 euros and I can say it goes pretty close and most of the people can't even hear any difference so yeah that's it if you have uh, questions please ask in the comments and I can try to answer you but uh, I could say Tosicam T200 W two channel ampli power amplifier. It's a good buy for the money. You will not regret it. Thank you guys.